everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we're on week 13 of our Sunday School Google Classroom. This week's theme is Growing Faith, Not Shrinking Faith. And our scripture this week comes from the New Testament and the book of Hebrews. Hebrews is the 19th book in the New Testament. And we will be reading Hebrews 10, verses 32 through 39. So if you're ready, I'll begin. Remember those days after you had received the light, when you endured in a great conflict, conflict full of suffering? Sometimes you were publicly exposed to insults and persecution. At other times you stood side by side with those who were so treated. You suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. And by my righteous, one will live by faith. And I take no pleasure in the one who shrinks back. But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. Well, that's a very good scripture, isn't it, boys and girls? So we're talking about growing faith, not shrinking faith. Okay, let me ask you, what's your favorite reward? What would you like to receive as a gift more than anything else? Maybe you'd like to receive a particular kind of toy or a gift card to a particular store. Or maybe you would like best when people just give you good old-fashioned money. Everyone likes rewards. Well, did you know that God has promised everyone who believes in him and trusts in Jesus a special reward too? In our, in our Bible passage today, the writer of the book called Hebrews said that we need to keep on having courage because the reward that we have been promised is great. What does he mean by saying that we need to have courage? And what's so great about this reward? Well, here's what he means by courage. Sometimes in life, things don't always go our way. Sometimes we can't have the things we want. Sometimes people don't like us. Sometimes people say mean things to us or maybe even try to hurt us. The Bible calls those moments trials. Not trials as in a courtroom with a jury, but trials meaning moments in our life that really test our faith in Jesus and our trust in God. In moments like these, trials, when God really gets to see if we love him, trust him, and believe in him. If we trust him, then we will keep on going, no matter how difficult or scary something might seem. But if we don't trust that God will help us every step of the way, then we'll likely just quit. Nobody likes to do things that are hard or difficult. A bit later in the passage from today, the writer writes to, and tries to help his readers remember a time when everything those people had were taken away from them. He says, and you even had joy when all that you owned was taken from you. You were joyful because you knew that you had something better and more lasting. Something better and more lasting. Well, when I think about my favorite kinds of gifts. You know what I like to think about? Well, my favorite gifts would be different than yours, boys and girls. I, my favorite gift is when my whole family is with me. Um, that's my favorite time. I realize that family is everything and, and, I, and I like to spend time with them. So for me, it isn't about gifts that you receive from people. It's gifts from their heart that they love you and want to spend time with you. So that's my special gift. That's what, that's what I like. But guess what? God promises us something even better than that. Jesus died 
on the cross so that we could have something even better than that. Even better than being with my family, right? God promises life forever with him in heaven. And Jesus died on the cross to take away all our sin and make heaven possible for us. Now that's truly an awesome reward. Isn't it, boys and girls? It's an awesome reward that that we receive from God. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you're having a good week. And um, until our next lesson next week, you know, I always say the same thing to you every week, that God is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. So boys and girls, take time to spend, spend some time with God during the week. It's so important that you talk to him and you listen to him. So boys and girls, have a great week. And until we meet again, blessings to you all. Bye.